Hey, welcome to the show. It's Twin <laughs> Tears basketball tonight. Jenna Cottrell, Andy Belnowski, and Jenna, it's great to be back. It's been too long. It has been, like two months, oh. you know? Me. Yeah, <laughs> it does. You know, we had turkey then. Lots of good stuff tonight. For Notre Dame, we kick it off with the boys basketball team. It's great to be great. The Crusaders are ranked seventh in the state in Class C. Tonight versus Tioga, they wanted to show us all why. Crusaders at Tigers. This is how we start this one off. Tom Agan says, I'm hungry. Feed me the stuff. That oh. is a block. Take a closer look at slow-mo. Jenna, that is double stuff Oreo that right here. That is some block party oh, right there. He's Lord. invited. That's amazing. <laughs> He'll be there. ND up beyond belief here. Late in the game, Darius Garvin on the steal and the finish. Throws it down. Garvin, he's been dunking from everywhere in the Twin Tiers. And there's always room for one more on that plate. Garvin going by slam a jamma. He had 17 points on the night. All ND, 76-22. This is a good old-fashioned slaughter. Yeah. I'm working on the slaughter. <laughs> Edison grad in play, ESPN play-by-play. -play boys, Nick Karski in the house. Edison Nick. versus Newfield. Second quarter, Chris Bird fly like an eagle. Nice up and under move to the bucket. This one wasn't pretty, though. Trojans up 35 Six. Then Adam Shoemaker responds. I like to go downtown. I like to do some shopping and yeah. get those points, but that would not matter. Alex Shriver Harris just straight up baller here, <laughs> and that was no problem. Newfield cruises 68.6. I like that straight up baller. <laughs> he is a baller. Out of some ladies basketball, Spencer at Waverly first half. Emily Myers inside the paint. You know what? No problem whatsoever. She makes it look easy for two. Then it's the power of the goggles. They just took over everything. <laughs> Raylan Swartchoff, she's going Schwarzenegger for two. That's an easy layup. After that, Raylan says, I'll be back. Hasta la vista. Steals it, connects. All Waverly, 48-22 in a slaughter. 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 The Horseheads ladies <laughs> hosting Elmira, former WMY TV sports director, Adon Allen, assisting coaching for the Express. Right. First half, Jen Laviola. She had 11 points on the night. Raiders, a bigger than a Denny's Grand Slam really? breakfast. Yeah, what do you guys say? Tasty, right? The pancakes were too much, man. <laughs> oh, they are. <laughs> then Ellie Lessig inside the paint there. No problem. Ellie had 10 points at the end of the night. And how about some smooth criminal Emily Smith on the steal and finish? Every Horseheads player scored points tonight. They roll 72-24. Raiders now 8-1. Wow, 8-1. You know, Denny's Grand Slam, you know, it is a lot. Yeah, all the best stuff. But it's delicious. <laughs> how about the Notre Dame girls hosting? Tiger in sound for it. Tigers keeping it close in the third quarter. Taylor Ayers from just inside the three point line. She hits 26 to 19 Crusaders. Here comes Notre Dame. Mia Herland drives inside the lane and oh yeah. <laughs> Kool Aid man. Nothing but the bottom of the net. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know, Purple Swords Rex, we were talking about that earlier. It's delicious. <laughs> Minutes later, Sheridan hiding off to steal, and this young lady got game. Easy two right there. Notre Dame, they pulled out 44 30 for the W. Well, the Lady Indians <laughs> hosting the Seneca's end of the second quarter. Walkins up 7 2 and about to add on. Haley Phillips puts it up. Swish. She nails the three pointer there. Later, the Seneca's trying to take control of this one. The shot, not there. But if at first you don't succeed, try. Yeah, and then, you know what? Try again as Phillips gets yes. another one to fall. Watkins Glenn up by five. Then into the third quarter, Jillian Clark inbounds the ball. The pass around. It finds Clark again from downtown. Bang. 18 13 Watkins Glenn. Next, Seneca's from the outside. It's off, and Tajman Lawton Stone finds it home. The Seneca's take the win, topping the Indians 30 21. Well, Stone. Yeah. It's a great last name. It's a great basketball last name. Stone Cold. <laughs> Stone Cold. Love that. <laughs> Elmira College, hey, to the college circuit. They get some nice wins here tonight with a sweep of Utica, the men down the Pioneers, and the ladies win their eighth in a row behind Jeff Seltowski's 25 points on the night. I'm telling you, it's the power of the sweatband. The Z. Exactly. Sweatband. Well, now to the hockey rink. <laughs> EC women at home facing Norwich. First period, no score, but Norwich chomping at the bit. The cadets, Haley Gibson coming up the ice. She gets the wide open shot, but senior goalie Lisa Marshall shutting it down, and we're still at zero. The Soaring Eagles struggling to get momentum in the first. Another close call for O'Malley. EC getting lucky, but the tensions of the game coming out. Ooh. A little pushing and shoving there, keeping this one That's quite dome. interesting. That's dome. That's dome ice. <laughs> Let's there go. you go. Later, EC, they are just <laughs> killing it. They come in. Look at the chop down, but that would result in this. Captain Ashley Ryan gets out in front, that cheap shot there, but Ryan would get the penalty shot. The junior, she tries to juke, duke out the goalie here, but no good. Ryan misses it. 
but it didn't matter. Elmira slow to get it started, but the Soaring Eagles find their rhythm. EC wins it 3-1. Nice win right there with the Dooms tonight to the scoreboard. Elmira at Buff State on the men's side. Soaring Eagles are close, but no Seagull. Buff State wins it 5-4. <laughs> that's four. how it's pronounced, I heard. Seagull. Right? Seagull. <laughs> you know, I, I don't smoke them. You know, that's bad for you. <laughs> the Cornell Hockey, the ladies tie Mercy Hurst at four in overtime. Well, the men, they didn't even play. The game was postponed due to a compressor problem with the ice. No makeup date has been announced yet. However, hoping they had some extra time to go down to Moe's and Ithaca, because that's just you always, you make unbelievable. That. You know, let's just cut <laughs> to the chase here. And the Amara Jackals on pink of the rink night, they fall to Reading 4-1. to one. So a busy night of action. Also very busy tomorrow night, Jenna, the Wizards. I am quite excited, quite intrigued at how it will go. <laughs> I know, you know, we tried to dunk some yesterday in the video package we had, but uh, Tomorrow night, Wizards game versus uh, some local people. Going to be some good stuff. For now, we'll be right back. Here's Dylan. Yeah. <laughs>